Hey guys, I am Gautam and welcome to GKMix. In this video, I am going to talk about uh, ICS admission 2019. So what is ICS? ICS is basically Indian Association for the Cultivation of Science. It's a very famous institute and uh, one of the best institute in India for chemistry. But before we start, I want to say if something that if you want to get uh, IIT JAM, NET or get examination videos, chapterized videos and the practice problems, then you can join me. You can join an academy. Just download the app, and you will get the description, uh, the link in the description below. Okay, so over there you will get my videos chapter wise because I am just started uh, some new videos over there. So you can uh, you will get regular videos on YouTube and also on an academy platform, and this is for free. Okay, so just go for it. And now let's talk about this. Okay, I am not considering other subjects, but I am considering only chemistry. So it's the one of the most important institute uh, in. India. So, whatever if you if you are not jam qualified or if you did not do well in IIT jam examination, then don't worry. Uh, if you can uh, get into it, get into ICS, then your life is going to be very very good. No, don't worry about your future. So, why it's important? Why it's very good? Because I just want to give you an example that you know C V Raman, the Nobel laureate from India. So he uh, he was working in that in this institute ICS, which is in Kolkata. so and he uh, got the nobel prize okay so basically this institute is very good uh, not only in chemistry but also others suppose uh, theoretical physics mathematics then biological sciences and other research oriented subjects so basically it uh, this institute is uh, only for science not for engineering students but here uh, this year they will take some not only this year other year also they take students in, uh, from engineering and also sciences okay and to get admitted uh, in this institute you just have to appear for one in screening test that is one uh, entrance examination then one another uh, interview processes okay so the in screening test was uh, is very easy okay i appeared in uh, in that examination so i know uh, on 100 uh, questions and time was 3 uh, of course 3 hours yeah and the question was very very easy and the interview process one of my friend got qualified and the question was of course uh, very easy the interview questions were very easy and the the number of seats like this last year it was 30 i don't know this year it was changed or not but i think the number of seats is 30 from for only i am considering only chemistry so basically this institute is good if you are interested then you can apply to go to ics uh, msc integrated msc phd admission actually it's, it's not msc it's ms phd so ms degree is much more professional degree than msc degree okay so it's the another more, a good opportunity to get into it okay to if you can get into it then don't worry uh, you will get you will your future is your good future is waiting for you okay so whatever i am just uh, just i am just uh, introducing you introducing you all everything about this institute so the first thing is that the form fill up has been started so if you are interested then the last date of form fill up is i think uh, okay 2nd june yeah 2nd june i don't know it's right so you can form fill up you can fill up the form right now so this uh, the examination online examination is likely to be 28 june okay online examination and this is not only for masters phd program uh, program students it is also true for whoever uh, qualified joint entrance examination and uh, want to pursue uh, ms and uh, sorry bs and ms degree okay not bsc because bs ms is much more professional degree than bsc okay so who want to pursue bs ms degree this is true for uh, those also okay so the inter the date the overall date is over the same and uh i'm only consider i will only consider the masters masters phd program so if you are not jam qualified if you did not get any other institute then you can try for this because this institute i think uh, my suggestion will be uh, go for like hyderabad university bhu jnu like this institute or go for this institute because you don't feel it but uh, last year when i was appeared for this examination only 3 300 students appeared for the examination because the examination held in kolkata so one one student suppose uh, he or she is from delhi so it's very tough to get uh, to come here and uh, give the examinations because and most of the most important thing is very few students know about about this institute okay so uh, that is one uh, negative thing for those but if you know if you are if you are watching my videos then Uh, of course you can 
uh, and you can you can uh, you will be familiar with these kind of things this kind of good institutes okay so i have i, I considered gncsr then now i am considering iscs okay so iscs is very good because of its research oriented things and uh, the image of this institutes okay so a lot of professors are there in physical chemistry uh, then organic chemistry inorganic chemistry physical chemistry and other subjects like material science and engineering material science you can if you are from chemistry you can get into it uh, you can get the msc and phd degree okay in material science department okay so it's another opportunity you can give two examinations okay to, uh, to get into it so uh, one is from chemistry another is from material science but i don't know whether material science students will get another date for the examinations so uh, i am not sure about that but uh, the, the interview process okay so you can choose uh, during form fill up during online form fill up you can choose two subjects one is chemistry and that is material science and material science departments okay so uh, for that the examination will be one but the interview will be uh, for one for chemistry and another for material science okay so it's quite quite important and uh, some of you like uh, whoever like inorganic chemistry so you can go for material science and uh, physical chemistry you can go for material science okay but for, for organic chemists uh, i will not uh, suggest for to go for material material science and engineering okay to so whatever the examination i told you the 28th june the online examination will be uh, app, will occur and then the result of the online examination 3rd july okay and the interview for the uh, bachelor master not the i mean bsms degree the interview date is 4th july to 7th july okay and for integrated msc phd or integrated masters program uh, the interview date is 8th july to 11th july okay so you can suppose your date is 8th july you can uh, you can change it to 11, 9 10 or 11 okay you can you just have to mail them or uh, you just have to uh, reach over there and you can you can you can you just have to request that uh, okay I, I had this problem so I did not appear for the interview. This kind of thing actually happens because I was when I was uh, going for IIT Bombay Energy Science and Engineering Department interview. Then my examination date was like 16th May, and I changed it to 17th May because I reached there at uh, uh, at around 16th May, of course, at around uh, 12 p.m. But the uh, interview process will st has been had been started from 8:30 a.m. So that's all about these things and one more important thing is first you have to uh, fill up online so you have to go to the ICS website then uh, click on uh, master's PhD or integrated MSc PhD program okay then you have to fill up the form you have to register first then you have to fill up the form you can choose two subjects that is two or three subjects okay one is chemistry and another is material science and engineering and the third one is another different uh, related to the material science okay so this is a very subject you can choose and if you have good jam rank even i want to say uh, if you have good jam rank then also you, you can uh, consider about that they will uh, ask you whether uh, uh, you have qualified any other exam entrance examinations or not okay so last year what happened until this year uh, last year last year till last year the whole process the whole process was offline okay so from this year the whole process goes uh, as in uh, uh, is in online okay so that's why it's a very good thing that uh, for offline cases you have to fill up the form you have to download you have to fill up then you have to uh, send it via speed post or normal post whatever so from this year it's they changed their uh, criteria and of course they uh, changed some things like the font of their websites like that things so that was the whole things whole information i want to give you so now let's talk about eligibility so more one of the more most important thing is the, whatever the jam qualification here yeah, it's this because jam from uh, it's it's actually good uh, rather than jam because just try to understand that suppose in jam you have to have 55 percent overall for every for every subject you have to take the average but for here whatever your university take uh, keeps i mean suppose your university gives major degree or honors degree or normal PCM whatever then you have to get only 55% for general and OBC candidates according to your university criteria and if you are SCST students then only 50% marks okay so here it's a, it's it's more much more flexible than IIT jump 
so so <coughs> yeah the subjects are yeah okay let me see the subjects are chemistry physics uh, then by uh, material science then mathematical computational methods mathematics and one more is uh, one more subject is present so if, if you are from chemistry then one two three three okay you can apply for three department three different department okay one is chemistry another is um, material science one more is i don't remember what is the department is but you can apply for those and one more thing if you are uh, from engineering uh, stream then also you can apply for the same because from engineering discipline you can apply for the mathematical computational and mathematical methods so for that you have to appear for one more uh, one interview that is that will be uh, cbt i mean computational based computer based examination there will be okay so you have to appear for that and then if you if you qualify then you can get into it easily so if don't worry that if you are you did not qualify the jam examination then also you can apply for uh, this and you can get into it without any hesitation because uh, they will ask some qualification about some qualification but everything depends upon the your examinations your screening test and your interview experience what will be the interview uh, experience okay so everything depends upon the interview and for interview i will, i want to say that whatever uh, before getting admission whatever institute taking any kind of interview then nothing matters whatever your qualification whatever your uh, other things whatever your rank in different examinations because during interview they just want to say uh, they, they just want to see what is in your uh, what is in you okay what is in you not not things like uh, your examinations marks your uh, number of examinations you have cracked okay they did not uh, uh, care about those so one important that will make you happy much more happy that if you can get into it you will get 12000 for month fellowship first good information and the second good news is yeah you can leave after your msc though it's an integrated phd program you can leave after your msc that is after 2 years that two this two news will make you very very happy so don't waste your time uh, don't stop your study to read everything and just apply for right now because the last date i don't uh, like fast june is the last date a lot a lot of times uh, you have but just apply for uh, now and also for i just want to say also for phd students the application portal is open so bsms ms integrated masters phd and also for only phd students the application portal is open so suppose your friend is your brother or your friend whoever want to pursue this degree then you can you can tell them about bsms you can tell them about if your seniors are there you can tell them about phd but don't tell your friends if you are there from uh, they want to apply for this institute because you know if you tell them then their competition will be high so don't don't do that don't tell them actually it was uh, it was a comedy like that whatever just do one thing and one more thing the application fee is uh, 12000 1200 okay for general and obviously and for sc st pwd it's 600 only so that 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 things doesn't matter and a lot of things are there that they said the payment terms and conditions okay let me check the payment terms and conditions what uh, what it is saying let the the file down to get to mm, yeah i got it okay 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 one more thing is about that you have to have three class 10 and class 10 plus 2 that is 12 you have to have 60% overall overall uh, 60% marks in your science discipline okay and that is enough for this okay for phd admission like that uh, you have to qualify uh, ugc net csir net gate jes or equivalent examinations okay so you, you know you about everything so okay so that's all about this department that's this that's all about these things and once again i am telling you the question papers is very very easy and they don't reveal the their question papers the uh, upper examination they will take back the uh, question papers so don't ask me about the question papers but i will tell you just solve some questions that uh, just previous questions like iit jam or like that okay or other uh, bhu uh, 
examination questions okay like that so that's all about these things and the questions i i i want to say the questions are very very easy just be ready for the examination and be ready for more for the interview process okay because the questions are very, very will be very very easy okay that's because i have my own experience and what i am telling you from my own experience okay so that's everything that's all about this uh, this institute indian association for the cultivation of science so just go for it my suggestion will be just go for it and apply for this examination okay and apply for the institute so good luck very very good luck from me and thank you thanks for watching